Hello, uh, you're watching Enemy.com and we're at Glastonbury, it's all very exciting and we have a, the first sort of surprise Glastonbury guest with us, Tim Burgess of the Charlton's, who, uh, so when did you learn that you were going to be playing today? Um, it was Monday I think. Monday, maybe, so, maybe, you knew, maybe so you've Monday. had a little bit of time to prepare? Uh, no, not really, <laughs> I mean just kind of like, yeah, um, we all managed to be contactable and uh, and you know we agreed obviously straight away and uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah so um, so why did snow patrol pull out do we know uh, it's some kind of like hospital oh, of course, uh, yeah. I think um, uh, I don't know which member but one of them had oh, an yeah, emergency a hospital appointment or something not appointment like an operation yeah, 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 yeah. so uh, what were you what were you actually supposed to be doing today uh, well we were actually playing in Exeter on Sunday so I was kind of preparing to go away and and you know to, to travel um, uh, but uh, I would have been probably just watching it on the TV you know so you wouldn't have been here yeah. anyway I wouldn't have been here anyway no no um, you know but Obviously, happy to be here. You've been here many times before. I'm sure you've yeah. got some war stories. What's been your most um, memorable Glastonbury's? You know, there's been plenty of times that we've played that uh, obviously I don't really remember very much. Um, so, uh, and, you know, memorable things to share to everyone never really seemed that <laughs> kind of like uh, memorable, <laughs> never seemed that exciting. So, uh, but I remember playing in 95 uh, with uh, the Verve and Suede mm -hmm. uh, on, um, I think that was the enemy stage. Um, I remember 2002 we played, but I don't remember very much about that at all because I was kind of, you know, probably very debauched. Debaut in and the Glastonbury and spirit. Glastonbury <laughs> spirit. And, uh, it has know. that way of just sort of making you forget everything. As well yeah, it's funny. You, you kind of like meet someone before they go to Glastonbury and then you meet someone, you know, like mid Glastonbury and everyone's like, on like <laughs> hyper kind of like crazed sort of like <laughs> levels of so what's the plan for the set have you got anything special lined up uh well uh i'm looking forward to hopefully uh, only one i know sing along which would mm -hmm. be amazing uh, uh starting with uh, let the good times be never ending from uh, modern nature which has uh, become a bit of a sing-along so Excellent. Uh, and then loads of Sort of bangers in between. Just going to do the, the smash out the hits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, definitely, definitely. <laughs> yeah. Um, so you've been working on a solo album. What can you tell us about it? How far through are you? What you've been up to? Well, yeah. Um, I've been uh, working at Rockfield and Eve Studios. Um, my friend Daniel Sullivan. Uh, sort of going to be finished in September and, and out next year. And it's it's like a diamond shape it's uh, <laughs> well, very beautiful what can we expect from it was it well um i suppose it'd be quite it's a bit early to sort of like say exactly because it's not mixed or anything yet mm -hmm. but song wise it's i don't know it's really inspired um i put an album out last year um called as i was now but it was from quite a long time ago and i found it um in my digital loft uh, and uh um, and uh, put it out and went on tour with it and, and got quite inspired by by the idea of, uh, of, of that sound and so I started off with that really and but we've taken it's kind of like taken a lot of different shapes along mm -hmm. the way and um, it's, it's very very music it's very music musical <laughs> yeah, yeah I should hope so yeah yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah if there's yeah, no yeah. music on it I'd be I know, a bit it's very surprised. sharp it would be yeah. an interesting new direction if it was just no music on it whatsoever yeah yeah John Cage you know <laughs> at least he's done it did it before um, <laughs> are there any any more charlatans activity going on or is that well we're playing uh, quite a lot uh, this summer um, and uh, there's a few things kind of like next year uh, talk about you know playing a lot next year but there are plans but not really sort of like a liberty to say it. Okay. Um, and, you know, previously you've put out, you've released sort of um, like breakfast cereals and, and well, fun stuff like that. I, have like you to, I just more love releases, you know. <laughs> <so>. <laughs> well, have, you got, have you got any more uh, sort of madcap releases in the, in the, in the pipeline? Uh, well, we do uh, Tim Peaks every year at Kendall Calling. Uh, that, so that's an annual thing. Um, it's not, I don't know whether it's madcap or not. Uh, the cereal was definitely a one-off thing that everybody loves and um, uh, y y you know I I'm always looking for you know n 
new 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 things to throw at people really and finally then you were there was a tweet that you you put out a while ago where you imagined a future in which the prime minister boris johnson would be that's true messaging uh, president Donald Trump. <laughs> yeah, from a back when it was from a <laughs> back when it back when it was unimaginable. How do you feel now? Do you feel like some sort of mystic? Um, I mean, I've been known to have a few premonitions, but I think that was the uh, you know that's uh, I've had um, you know a lot of my best friends calling me the new Nostradamus, and uh, <laughs> and uh, which you know I'm taking on board, um, and uh, but. You know, everyone's asking for you know advice on bets and stuff like yeah. that now. So, and well, can you, you know, give, can you give the viewers any any tips? Uh, ten to one or something. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I don't know. But uh, yeah. Um, so no, it's just insane how. Um, I mean, it was on the cards anyway, wasn't it? So it's a mad world, though. It's a mad world. It's like the worst thing you could possibly imagine. It's yeah, come true. and it's just I think music. You know, I mean. You know, one of the most amazing things I saw recently was uh, David, David Gilmore auctioning his guitars off, you know, for climate change and stuff like that. And I thought, you know, music actually just won 5 nil at that point, mm -hmm. you know, uh, versus politics or politicians. So I thought, yeah. Brilliant. Tim, thank you very much. You're very keep, welcome. Keep tuned. There's going to be lots more of this sort of <laughs> stuff coming up. Bye.